Hey everyone, this is Kristen with Living Able, and today I'm going to show you several ways that I hold a drink so that I can also push my wheelchair at the same time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I find it difficult, or at least for a long time I found it difficult to carry a drink and also push my chair. I have come up with several ways uh, that I wanted to show you guys. Now, the first one is a way that I've, I've done it the longest with just like a standard water bottle. To take the water bottle and to put it back here. Most water bottles or soda bottles have a little bit of a give to it. So if you're leaning up against it a little bit, it's not that big a deal. Also, for my particular chair, the back piece has a little bit um, of a give to it as well. So it's not like, you know, it's just pushing it, you know, into me. But, um, so... Typically just reach back there and pull it out and uh, be good to go. So I did that for a really long time. Uh, now I drink a whole lot more than I used to. So um, I have to do it different ways because I don't, I can't just stick 8,000 different water bottles behind me. So the second way to hold a water bottle would be, and it's with a standard type water bottle, to take it and put it. with this bar and it goes like this and then if you want it just pull it back out like this the cool thing about putting it back there is you actually probably could put several um, back there now the third way to carry a water bottle is something that will work best for people that have a little bit of control with their hips or legs is to put it in between your legs. Now, I don't have any control here to hold this tight like this, but if you did, this would be really well. Uh, there's a little bit of an edge where my seat is here, and so it works very well. Now, if I continue to move like this, generally, these things will start to move out because I can't hold my legs together. Uh, so this is not the best option for me, um, but it is definitely an option out there, especially for somebody who is going sh a short distance or whatever. Um, that might be a really good option for you. The next way to do this would be if you have this kind of bottle as well and hang it on your brake. If you see here, my, you have my keys there, but the brake is not even up against my wheel, so I'm able to move, and it's not, it's not impeding on anything. If you have a water bottle that has this loop around it, that would work. Another option with the same kind of a water bottle here would be take this, hook it on here, take it and put it underneath put it on the edge of the seat here and if you can put it towards the middle here it actually works really well better than it does to put it here on the side it stays it stays there for for a long time the weight of my cushion and me sitting on my cushion i'm able to put that piece under there and it stays well and then the bottle just kind of dangles you can again you can put it on the side or you can put it in the middle and you just lift your leg up You can pull it out like that. The next way would be if you have like a book bag that you put on the back of your chair, you take it, you zip it pretty much up till there's just a small hole at the top, and you put this, put your book bag on the back of you. This drink is about as deep as my book bag is, so you just take it, hold it at the top here, take the drink. Put it there, 
It's right here. The top of my book bag is right here. So I get to just pull it out and put it back down. The bag that you have that you're using in the back of your chair is deeper than the bottle you have. See, it's one of the smaller water bottles. You can put like a jacket or something underneath the bottle to bring it up higher into the book bag and that also works or maybe some books underneath something like that uh, that would be another way that you can make the book bag idea work as well now the last way I'm going to show you is kind of one of my favorites this thing right here it's a cup holder that's been mounted on the rim of the chair here I'm going to put a picture of what it originally looked like when I first got it at the end of the video here now when you first get this thing here it's going to be like this, and then there's also a clip that goes around the metal part of your chair. I found that that clip breaks way too easily, so what I've done is taken this strip here. I'm not, I think this is called plumber's tape, but I could be wrong. I really don't know, so if you know exactly what this is, uh, then put it in the comments below and let us know. And it cut, it's, it's straightened, and then you bend it around for the metal part of your chair that you want to put it on. So, and, and so then, you take this off here. You put this right here. This part wraps around that metal piece, whatever way that you're gonna do it. And then you'll take this piece here and screw it. Now, one other thing I'll say about this is because this is plastic, it can tend to break. So I've reinforced it with this fancy tape here. Um, that's helping a little bit. Also, you can probably get some kind of metal piece or something and put it around the bottom part here also to reinforce it. So that would be what I would suggest. And then you're just, you're just tightening it, tightening it up and then it would be on the chair. So this is the way that I like the best because I can put it on either side and it can turn this way, it can go this way depending on whatever way that keeps the bottle in that you're using. So that is that idea. I hope that that you uh, were inspired by some of these ideas, that they, they will encourage you to carry other drinks around. I hope this video finds you well. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos and helpful tips and tricks for everyday life in a wheelchair. Also, don't forget to visit us on facebook.com forward slash livingable and have a great day.